kids. So, I took the day off yesterday, which is really impromptu timing for someone who I was talking to offline who was like, don't stop making videos, and I was like, okay, and then I didn't throw one up yesterday. But it just, you know, some days are going to be like that. But so that means, because I was busy with my jam session, and then whatever I threw up on Tuesday and didn't do anything yesterday, I haven't addressed the elephant in the room, which is that there are more than 200 of you all now, which totally blows my mind. Like, I don't understand why I'm so entertaining. But apparently, I am. And that's kind of crazy. Um, and I just wanted to talk about the, how, like, how I got here. Which sounds so absurd, because it's, like, only 200. But I got here, like, a lot of it was through visualization and being like, this is what I want to do, and then working towards it. And this isn't about YouTube, really. This is about life in general. It's about visualizing what you want and then visualizing how to get there. And this is something, as a trans person, that I relate to on another interesting level. Will my hair please get out of my face? Thank you. So, I want to talk about uh, online dress-up games for a second. When I was a young warthog, and I first got access to the internet, I would go on, like, girlsgogames.com, which in retrospect, don't know why I spent so much time there, but whatever. And, like, dolldivine.com, you know, all those weird dress-up sites. And I would dress these avatars up in ways that I wanted to look. Or at least ways that I thought I did. And then one night recently I decided I needed to go back and revisit this. And I realized that all the looks for these avatars that I was creating now are so different from looks I would have given them when I was like 12 or 8 or however old I was when I first got internet access. How old are you in fifth grade? I don't know. Um, and it's because I think I always was visualizing who I wanted to be, or at least who I thought I wanted to be, or at least who I thought I should be. And so clearly, as I've grown into myself, that has changed. But so, on my laptop, I have open a tab, which is just uh, one of these avatar things, and I think visualization is, like, such a huge deal. Because sure, I have the same haircut as this avatar, but I don't have the same style, which is something I super want, and I don't have the same position because this avatar is holding a microphone and has, like, a rainbow background, and so the assumption is that they are speaking at some sort of LGBT conference or whatever. Or on a panel at a non-LGBT conference, but a conference that has an LGBT panel. Whatever. Whatever. The point of all this is just that it's important to visualize what you want. And I do the same thing for, like, school and for friendships and whatever. And, like, reading a book, I will if I'm reading a book, I will visualize how I think I'm going to be once I finish reading it. Like, am I going to be crying? Am I going to be angry? Am I... I don't know. And then I visualize what my response will be. When I'm taking an essay test, I visualize how sore my hand is going to be at the end and do not stop writing until I have reached that level of soreness that lets me know that I have achieved an essay. When I am, um, I mean, everybody visualize getting, visualizes getting the good grades, you know, that's something we're all taught to do. But I just remember when I first was new to YouTube, not as a creator, but as a consumer, um, 
I would watch all these people talk about their vision boards, and I was like, what the heck? This is stupid. And lo and behold, I've been doing the same thing the whole time. So no, I don't want to look like one of those weird models or like, girl, in fall games. I don't want to look like that. But I encourage all of you, if you can, to find a dress-up game with an avatar who looks at least sort of like you, and then to run with it and see if you can figure out what you want to be along the way. But while you're doing that, remember that it's important to love the you that you are currently. Because even though the me and the avatar is more in line with how I feel, the me right now is a billion times more important. And the you right now is a billion times more important than whatever projection you're coming up with. Because you're here now. And that's important. I hope you have a great day.